Covering election 2019, tomorrow is election day. But it looks like a very disappointing number of people could show up at the polls. In the meantime, workers are setting up equipment and getting their precincts ready. Those workers plan to be ready no matter how many or how few show up to vote. I cannot think of anything more important for an American than voting. Max McDaniel acted on her belief and voted by mail at the downtown supervisor elections office Monday. Tuesday, she'll be busy. I'm going to be serving as a deputy tomorrow at a voting booth. I use a voting precinct and I need to get my vote in today. I was due to get an absentee ballot, but I didn't get it. My absentee three years had expired and I didn't know it. So I'm pushing the clock to get it done today. <laughs> a relatively small amount of voters have pushed the clock on Jacksonville's 2019 election, something not lost in elections officials like Robert Phillips. We really want everybody to get out and vote. That's the most important thing. Um, we're hoping that turnout gets between 20 and 25 percent, but yeah, it does look like we're in for a light day tomorrow. Here's what turnout looks like through early voting. More than 35,000 Republicans cast ballots. That's almost 2,000 more votes than Democrats cast. About 7,000 people voted with no party affiliation. One of the big questions left for speculation is why turnout has been and could finish very low. I think there's a lot of different things going on with the electorate. Uh, I think that they know there's an election because there are so many ads and billboards and signs out. Uh, I don't know why there's not a lot of interest. You know, generally, uh, it's been an axiom, you know, of mine that candidates drive turnout. So the candidates are the ones that have to get out and get their people motivated. The candidates with the highest profiles have been in the mayor's race. Lenny Curry is expected to have the most votes. Many observers say they're watching to see if any of the other candidates can force a runoff by keeping the mayor from capturing more than 50% of the vote. Many city council races appear almost certain to move to the May runoff election.